In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to remove the Find My feature on your Apple Watch. And right here, we've got an Apple Watch 6. This process is gonna be mostly the same for most of the different Apple Watch models. Now, why would you wanna turn off the Find My feature in the first place? Well, suppose you have sold your Apple Watch to someone else or you're trying to do that. They will not be able to pair that Apple Watch to their iCloud account if you still have your Find My turned on for the Apple Watch. And the way this happens typically, if you have an Apple Watch like this one and you go to reset it, you go to your settings here, then you'll go to reset. And you can see here, most people just click on this erase all content and settings. Apple even warns you here that erasing will not remove the activation lock. And what that means is you can erase the watch and that's great, but it's still gonna be linked to your iCloud account. So, so when someone else takes that Apple Watch and tries to test pair it or pair it to their iCloud account, they will be unable to do so. They'll get an error message stating that the watch is already locked to someone else's iCloud account. So when you remove the Apple Watch, the preferred way to do it is actually through the iPhone that you've got it paired to. So here we've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max and we're gonna go into the watch app and then we're gonna go under general and then at the very bottom of here, we've got our reset. So this is actually going to reset and unpair the Apple Watch if we click on that button there. And that's really the preferred way to do it, but a lot of people don't do that. They simply go on their Apple Watch here and they click on this erase and the watch looks reset as if it's ready to go, but then the next person gets it and it is locked. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you the method that if you don't have the Apple Watch in your possession anymore, how you can remotely get it removed. Now, if you've got the Apple Watch in your possession still, you can remove it the right way using the iPhone to unpair it and erase it all in one. But if you don't have the watch with you anymore, you're gonna have to do it remotely. So let me show you how that works. Now we can turn the Find My feature off from just about any computer that's connected to the internet. We wanna open up a web browser. I've got Safari opened here and the URL we're going to go to is iCloud.com forward slash find. And that last part is very important because that takes us right to the page we need to be on. So iCloud.com forward slash find. It's gonna have you log in using the iCloud ID that is linked to the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in there, enter your password. And then it should take us to a page with a map in the background just like this one here. Now at the top of this page, there's gonna be a pull down menu and you can select which device you want to remove here. So you can see right now I've got an iPhone and I've also got a watch listed on the Find My feature here on this iCloud account. So we are gonna click on the watch here and it's gonna pull up this side little menu in the top right corner. Now you might be thinking, well, how do I remove the watch? I don't see a remove option. I just have play, lost mode, and erase. Well, here's the catch. Apple makes this just a little bit confusing. So in order to remove this watch from your iCloud account, you first have to initiate the erase request. And it's kind of a fail safe. You know, I think they wanna make sure that you have indeed erased the watch before you remove it, because once you remove it, you can't go back and erase it. But it is a little bit confusing. So you do need to click this erase option first, the little trash can. And when you click that, it's gonna bring up a confirmation message. We'll go ahead and click the erase. And then for security, it's gonna have you re-enter your user ID and your password again. Now, if you've got two-factor authentication enabled for your account, which is definitely a good idea, it's gonna send a code to another device on your iCloud account. So we just enter in that two-factor authentication code. And if it's the first time you're using this browser, you're gonna get this message here. We can just click not now. All right, so you can see now it's giving me a couple options here in the dialog box. If I wanna enter a phone number, I can, but remember, we just wanna get this watch removed from the iCloud account. Now, if you lost your watch and you wanted a phone number to appear on that watch so that whoever finds it can call you and see who it belongs to, this is where you would type that in. But if you're selling your watch, giving it away to someone else, then right here, you're gonna leave this blank and just click the next option. Same thing here on the message. If you lost the watch, you could type in here, hey, if found, please return to and list your name, contact information. But again, we're just trying to remove it here, so we're gonna leave that blank. Then we click the done button. So now Apple's going to try to remotely erase the device and assuming it's connected to the internet, you know, paired through another iPhone where it's connected to the internet, that erase should go through within just a few seconds. However, if your watch is not connected to the internet, maybe you've already shipped it out to someone else, sometimes you have to click the stop erase option first. 
Now, I don't know if you caught that on the screen, but for just a split second, there was a stop erase request option there. And so if your watch is not connected to the internet, it's not going to show you this remove option until you click the stop erase request first, and then it'll show the remove from account. So once you get to this screen here, it's confirming that it did indeed erase the watch. And the most important step now is to click this final remove from account option. If you don't click this button, it's still gonna be linked to your iCloud account and it's gonna be in the lost stolen mode. So definitely go back in here and click the remove from account option. It's gonna give you another confirmation box. We'll click remove. And just like that, our watch is removed. Now, when you're all done, double check up here at the top under all devices and make sure that watch no longer shows up there. Now, when you go up to all devices, if for some reason you still see the device in the list here, and remember it was an Apple watch, then that means something didn't go as planned. I'd go ahead and try it again a second time and just make sure you got all the steps down. But assuming that device is missing from this list here, then you've successfully removed it from your iCloud Find My feature. Now let me just interject one important distinction to make here. A lot of times folks will land on the account settings devices page, just like this one here. And they will go ahead and click on their device and then click on the X thinking that that's gonna remove it from their iCloud account. And this is really just like a history of which devices you signed into on iCloud. And so removing it here is actually completely different from the Find My section of your iCloud account. So just make sure you are indeed under the Find iPhone section. I know it's kind of confusing because maybe you're removing a watch or an iPad, but basically the Find iPhone is also for iPads, watches, MacBooks, and so forth. And the way to know that you're on the right page is that you've got a map in the background. So just remember you're looking for a map in the background and that signals that you are indeed on the Find My page. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Here at J Brokers, we deal with these sorts of issues quite frequently, as you can imagine. We are a risk-free secondhand marketplace. We buy all sorts of gadgets and guitars, cameras and collectibles, pretty much anything worth over a hundred bucks that's easy to ship. So if you're looking to sell your Apple product, maybe you've got a watch that you're looking to upgrade or an iPhone, definitely check us out. You can get an instant cash offer on over 2,500 common products on our website 24 seven from the convenience and safety of your home. A couple things our customers really appreciate about J Brokers is first off, we always pay the agreed upon amount for the agreed upon item. No bait and switch gimmicks. And secondly, we always send payments out on the next business day after receipt, rain or shine. So if you've got something to sell and it's worth over 100 bucks, chances are we will consider it. Go ahead and check us out online at jbrokers.com. That's J-A-Y brokers.com and get yourself an instant offer from the convenience and safety of your home 24 seven. We would sincerely like to earn your business. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks for watching. Thank you.